Nehemiah chapter 11 is all about the rebuilding and restoring of the city of Jerusalem. Actually, I would say more like repopulating. The walls are restored, the temple is built, but the city itself has kind of been like a wasteland, a ghost town for over 70 years. The leaders have moved back and now they're trying to get the people to come back to the city of Jerusalem. L listen to this passage, verse one. Now the leaders of the people dwelt at Jerusalem. The rest of the people, they cast lots to bring one out of 10 to dwell in Jerusalem, the holy city, and nine tenths were to dwell in other cities. And the people blessed all the men who willingly offered themselves to dwell at Jerusalem. So the people, they, they know the walls are back. They know the city is there, but there's this hesitancy to come back because it's been desolate for so long. So first the leaders come, they sort of set the stage. They give an example and now the people are coming back. And through these chapters, they come back. The priests come back, the gatekeepers come back, uh, the people who are involved in different areas of ministry in the city, they, they begin to come back, well, verse by verse and section by section to inhabit the city of Jerusalem again. See, God is going to bring the city back. He's going to bring the holy city back to its place of inhabitants, back to its place of glory, really, as it once was, because God keeps his promises to the people of Israel. He has a special covenant with them. So God is going to restore and repopulate the city of Jerusalem. And God, well, he does this not only through Jewish people, but through Gentiles like you and I. He keeps his promises. He will build his church. You know, Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And his kingdom will come. It'll come one day, literally, to the city of Jerusalem when Jesus returns. But it'll also come in a spiritual way here on earth as God builds this church through you and I. And we come in different ways. There's leaders, there's elders, there's deacons, there's, there's pastors, there's teachers, there's, there's all kinds of different people in the church body. And God will use each of us to build, to renew, and to repopulate his kingdom. He does it over and over again. We renew our faith and we rebuild ourselves in the Lord. And this is what's happening in Nehemiah chapter 11. It's the restoring of the holy city that one day Jesus himself will dwell in. There'll be a new temple. It'll be a place where he will come. But right now, this is the rebuilding after the desolation. And God is always in the business of rebuilding and restoring as we renew our faith in him. Nehemiah chapter 11, repopulating the city of Jerusalem.